contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Memphis, Tennessee, weighing 247 pounds, the Funky Tonk Man. I'm excited for this one. And with that introduction, God, I can't talk. Hey, everybody, welcome back to WWE 2K15 Universe Mode. I know that's going to irritate JD because I said welcome back. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are doing NXT number four in Chicago, Illinois. And we have a studded uh, card for you. Uh, look at Honky Tonk Man. I believe this is his, de is his debut. He's going one on one with, I believe, another debuting star, Kevin Nash. Eventually, I'm going to get caught up and see who stars need to debut and whatnot. Oh, huh. Detroit, Michigan. Weighing 308 pounds, Kevin Nash. I'm excited for this one. Because, um, I think, let me go to my notes here on my phone real quick. We'll for Kevin Nash. Max is doing it way down to the ring. Um, I think I've only done, like, week one or something. Yeah, because I've only, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've only done week one of Raw NXT and SmackDown, so... But yeah, I don't believe neither one of these two have debuted yet. But yeah, we got a studded show for you tonight, folks. Uh, we have this match, obviously. The next match is going to be a false count anywhere between Alberto Del Rio and uh, Shawn Michaels. You know, yeah, I think I said a false count anywhere, right? Sorry, I got distracted. Welcome to NXT, um, where the WWE is in the hunt for its next breakout star. And oof. King, what do you think of this pairing? You said it God, look how big Kevin Nash is strong. compared to Honky Tonk Man. Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? Like I said, if I can go back to my statement, yeah, second match after this, I brought the Del Rio versus Shawn Michaels in a false count anywhere match. The third match of the night will be one of the three title matches. Of course, since NXT doesn't have a pay-per-view, uh, the title matches will be on the fourth NXT of each month, uh, like I'm pretty sure I've uh, told before. Uh, the third match of the night, if I can get back to it and stop saying, uh, and, um, all the time. I'm trying to do two things at once, trying to rest, uh, beat up Honky Tonk Man and and talk, and it's not really going too well, is it? As the NXT Tag Team Champions, the best in the beard, CM Punk and Daniel Bryan, going two-on-two -two in an elimination tag match for their titles against Booker T and Darren Young. Oh, big right hook, and I may not be able to... I may not be able to, uh, you know, tell about the main event. The main event, the NXT Champion, James Carr, Going one on one with the animal Batista, and I gotta say, Batista's probably we're probably looking at a new NXT champion. As I completely have not even talking about this match, and it's over. <laughs> Honky Tonk Man's debut didn't go too well, did it? Kevin Nash is dominated, and this could be a future NXT champion right there. So nice, we have to see it twice. Jackknife power bomb. One, two, three. Kevin Nash is dominated. Kevin Nash's friend Shawn Michaels is going to be in the next match, uh, but it's against Alberto Del Rio. Like I said, Falk County anywhere, so this should be a one heck of a match. Here comes the man, the myth, the legend, Alberto Del Rio. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from San Luis Potosi, Mexico, weight 239 pounds, Alberto Del Rio. Oh, listen to this place. Everybody's on their feet. Look how happy he is to be here. The people booing the shit out of this man. But hey, he's over to Del Rio. He can accomplish things, I guess. I don't think he's going to be NXT Tag Team Champion anytime soon because he would have to find somebody that would want to team up with him. 
but yeah, I, I can't hide the fact I don't like this man. I, I really don't. <laughs> if the roster wasn't too small, I'd fucking boot him and Honky Tonk Man off the roster. Now this man is definitely can be a possible future NXT champion and future light heavyweight champion. Possibly even NXT tag team champion. I mean, like I said, his buddy Kevin Nash was in the first match. They could team up and be one dominant faction of a tag team. Uh, on every show, we only have four tag teams, so more tag teams the merrier. <laughs> John Michaels looking ready. He believe that first match like was so quick. Kevin Nash just beat the evolving hell out of Honky Tonk Man. But here we go, Shawn Michaels and Alberto Del Rio Falls Count Anywhere match. Oh, a big Enziguri catching Alberto right off his feet. Oh, that was weird. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was a little bit of slowdown. Shawn Michaels has all the momentum here. Shawn Michaels in control of Alberto Del Rio. Like I said, I'm pretty, I'm more than definitely sure that Alberto Del Rio's debut is today. Oh! Shawn Michaels, I'm not too sure. I, ha I really need to keep up on my, uh, uh, springboard, please. I know Shawn Michaels can springboard. <laughs> and it pay didn't go too well. And Shawn with a nice backbreaker. On to Alberto Del Rio. Yeah, a blockbuster main event. I doesn't look too good for my uh for my guy. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, James Carr is basically my my character. Um, I'm thinking about adding Mark into this, because um, then I'll, I'll, I'll break kayfabe for a bit on the Casper. Oh, Shawn Michaels is landing very hard in the Casper uh, playthrough of 2K15. Me and him are tag team tag team champions, or were tag team champions. Um, so I may add him. I just gotta make his move set and everything, but it may be. Maybe sometime down the road, maybe when everybody debuts and everything. So. Alberto Del Rio. Trying to get some offense in, but I think Shawn Michaels just has his number going up top. Oh! Patented elbow. And now Shawn Michaels tooting up the band. Del Rio, watch out! Sweet chin music. One, two, three. And just like that, one sweet chin music was all it took. Alberto pretty much didn't get any offense in, just like the previous match. I swear the next three matches won't go that way, guys. Shawn Michaels looking proud to have decimated Alberto Del Rio. And now we move on to the first of three title matches of the night. The best of the beard going against Booker T and Darren Young. And here we go. Here's one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions. Is an elimination tag team match. And is for the NXT Tag Team Championship. On the way to the ring, 
from Aberdeen, Washington. Weighing 210 pounds, he is one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Daniel Bryan. I don't believe we've seen much of the best of the beard in tag team action, but you know, they are the NXT Tag Team Champions. These CM Punk and Daniel Bryan are two hell, hell of a great compa competitors. Now we await the other half of the best in the beard. And his tag team partner from Chicago, Illinois, weight 218 pounds, he is one half of the NXT. Tag Team Champions, C and Punk. Here comes the voice of the voiceless. CM Punk, the best in the world, making his way down to the ring. I gotta say that title doesn't look too bad on him. And this song is probably one where he get a copyright claim or something. <laughs> this is the actual song. Probably Daniel Bryan's too, but I don't really care. I'm on this game. I'm gonna do a whole year, at least a whole year of this game. Who knows? It may take me over two years to do it, but I will get through it. Anyways, back to the competitors in the ring. Daniel Bryan looking proud to be CM Punk's tag team partner. Now we await the challengers. Introducing the challengers first. From Houston, Texas, weighing 256 pounds, Booker T. Oh, the WWE Universe letting them hear it. Booker T making his way down to the ring. He has brought Darren Young with him in NXT to be his protege. Unfortunately, his brother Stevie Ray uh, out of commission, not and not contracted with our company. Um, so he's like, you know what? I'm going to bring in a homegrown, uh, not a homegrown, but a younger superstar to uh, craft and make one hell of a champion. It may happen tonight. Here comes his partner, Darren Young. His tag team partner from Miami, Florida. Weight 239 pounds, Darren Young. Oh man, two of the most exciting superstars in the WWE and the title. Mr. No Days Off, Darren Young. You know, technically, if he's not on the card, does that mean he gets a day off? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but yes. This is Bro uh, Brodus Clay, fuck me. <laughs> I was going to say this is Booker T's protege, but it came in like, this is Brodeche. <laughs> kind of like I said, like, kind of like I sounded like I said, Brodus Clay. But yes, our first ever title matches that aren't in the tournament for the NXT Tag Team Championships of the World. A submission special. I'm gonna let this play out. And Daniel Bryan immediately German suplex on the Booker T. This is an elimination tag, so both champions need to be pinned in order for new tag champions to be announced. Daniel Bryan here going for some Booker T reverses to an STO. Reverse STO, I should say. He drops the oh, hitting the face of Daniel Bryan. A big fist drop, and now Daniel Bryan on a nice suplex. Slam the arm. You gotta think, what is it gonna take for either team to get the win? I gotta say, nothing against Darren Young. Well, I gotta say, he's definitely the weak link of this match. I think CM Punk and Daniel Bryan are gonna be too much of a good combination. Booker T and Darren Young accomplish winning tag team titles over. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So far, this match has been all Daniel Bryan. Now there's no breathing room here for Booker. 
Oh, big European uppercut there. Another German suplex. Oh, jeez, that did not look good. <laughs> Booker T tagging in the protege, Darren Young, in a big sidewalk slam right off the bat. Okay. Maybe Booker T got was underestimating Dan, uh, Daniel Bryan. Will make anybody think twice about signing a contract to face him in a match. Darren Young cannot. Now Daniel Bryan over first STO of his own. Oh man! But yes, the first of three title matches. Will we see any title changes tonight? I don't know. This is the first show that actually has them uh, going at it with one another. So we we are. This is we just have SmackDown, and we'll have the first ever pay per view. I'm kind of pretty excited about that too. Um, so that'll be nothing but title matches. Because we have the two world championships on Raw and SmackDown, the two mid card titles, and the tag titles, and then the women's title. So that's gonna take up all the spot, which is why NXT is gonna have their title matches in down in NXT. Oh, I'm back to the match. Daniel Bryan with the rapid kicks to the chest of D. Young. And I think CM Punk wants to tag in. Oh! Yeah, he is asking to be tagged in, but Daniel Bryan almost got him off that rapid kicks to the chest. Oh! And a big belly to belly. Darren Young, not out of this uh, uh, show yet. Another one. Oh my god. I didn't expect Darren Young to do belly to bellies, honestly. A big elbow to the face, Daniel Bryan. He's got him hooked. And Bryan, CM Punk really wants a tag. And there was the knee plus. One, two, and Darren Young gets saved by Booker T. I don't know if it was actually called a knee plus. I want to call it that. Could just call it the running knee, but you know. Now CM Punk finally gets the tag in. After been begging for it, I think, for this whole match. He wants back in this match. Aaron Young catches him belly to belly. CM Punk kind of just stood there. Darren Young tags back in Booker T. Oh, nice Hurricane Rana there. Caught Booker T off guard there, I think. What are you doing, Punk? Oh my god! Oh! You're gonna... Okay, CM Punk wants nothing with Booker T, so... Uh, I guess Daniel Bryan... Crucifix... And Punk wants back in? I, I'm a little bit confused on what Punk's trying to do here. And... Booker T pushes Bryan... Oh, what the hell? Daniel Bryan really wants to go out to the top rope. <laughs> now Booker T in control here, big sidewalk. Oh no, back, uh, backbreaker. Now working on the face of Daniel Bryan once again. Ooh, big knee to the face. And again, through. another knee to the face. Uh oh, uh -oh. Daniel Bryan Daniel popping Bryan up. But well, Booker T catches. Oh no! Yep, Booker T catches him. Daniel Bryan, I think, was trying to get a comeback sequence going. Going for a cover. That is not going to be enough. Booker T is a veteran in the business. He should know well for a fact that he needs to hit a big move in order to put someone like Daniel Bryan away. Now, Daniel's just going to stand there and not tag in his partner. As Booker T hits a nice suplex. He's cover. One. And Punk breaks it up. And then gets a neck breaker for his breaking it up. Brian, what is, I think Brian's like out of it. I don't know what he's trying to do. Uh, uh oh, German. Oh! I can count on CM Punk when he was just trying to get out of the ring and fucking Darren Young was like, nope, watch some leg sweep. 
And Varsal has been back and forth, and Booker T, I think a little bit desperate, trying to get a one-up on the champions. Like I said, I think Booker T should know he's got to do a lot more than that just to put him away. And there it is, the spine buster. Signature maneuver of Booker T. Will that be enough? No, in the ropes. Now Darren Young going to beat up Daniel Bryan with Booker T. Uh-oh. The patented scissors kick. And but once again... Punk immediately breaks it up. This is going to be one long match, people. I'm going to tell you what. Probably the longest match of the night compared to those two five-minute matches. <laughs> if they were even five minutes. Oh, finally a tag team move. From Darren Young and Booker T. Oh. Will we see one between Daniel Bryan and... Nope. Oh, gets a big boot for his troubles. Hey, Brian went for some. Oh, Brian again kicks to the chest of Darren Young. Keeps going. Oh, oh. Will that be enough? Booker T immediately in the ring. One, no. God, you guys can't fucking help your teammates, can you? Uh oh. I thought Brian was going to set up for that knee plus, but... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, back suplex. Daniel Bryan not done a second one. And a German... Oh! Daniel Bryan is taking a beating. Punk beating really wants it in, and then Bryan... Just not... I think their egos are getting in the way of actually being a good tag team. Of course, when I say that, uh, CM Punk gets tagged in, and Booker T also gets tagged in. Oh, big slap there. Oh, big Enziguri out of nowhere. What the Punk, what are you doing? Going for a cover after wasting time to... Oh, if it wasn't for Darren Young, we may have seen an elimination here. Ah, that always looks like it hurts like hell. Now CM Punk doing a not not really doing a whole lot this match. He's done a little bit and tags in Brian. Seems like he's letting Brian do all the heavy lifting. Uh, Brian once again trying to set up that knee and just okay, just ran to the ropes. Knee plus again. Booker T, pay attention. Booker T, two, three. And it's down to Booker T against CM Punk and Daniel Bryan. I do not like his chances. He was too busy resting to notice Darren Young being eliminated. But it is possible. He could somehow mount a comeback. He's really going to go for a pin off that. Punk's right there breaking the pin. Booker T, with his right hooks. Oh, I don't know if that was actually a tag in because Booker T hit CM uh, Daniel Bryan. Oh, Punk with that patented. Okay, what the fuck was that? <laughs> the patented knee to the Bulldog combo. Two, three. And the best in the beard retain their tag team titles. There's that big multiple kicks, the knee, the scissors kick from Booker T. Really the only offense they got in, and then at the end there, the best in the beard, proving they're the best. CM Punk and Daniel Bryan going to celebrate tonight. But next up, the fatal four-way for the Cruiserweight, Champion, uh, Cruiserweight Championship. Chris Danger, Dolph Ziggler, Ran uh, Rob Van Dam, almost said Randy Orton there, and Kofi Kingston. This will be one hell of a match.
contest is scheduled for one fall and it's for the Cruiserweight Championship. Making his way to the ring from Oregon, he is the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Chris Danger. This is the title shot our challenger was waiting Chris for. Danger making his way down to the ring. The first ever Cruiserweight Champion. I gotta say, I do not like his chances going into this match. Going against three of the top cruiserweights in the division in NXT. God, why is his nose so big? You guys notice that? His nose is like ginormous, like Triple H size. Here comes technically the number one contender in terms of the division, Rob Van Dam. And introducing the challengers from Baton Creek, Michigan, weight 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. The challenger ready for action in this event, and I think those hands could be full in this match. Rob Van Dam, I think he would be one hell of a, 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 a cruiserweight champion. Uh, any, any of these four men, I think, would be, you know, Chris Danger, obviously, is the Chris Way champion. But I think the other three could be one hell of a champion. Yes, Kofi Kingston making his way down to the ring. High flyer, a fan favorite. And then we wait one more. Dolph Ziggler. And their opponent from Hollywood, Florida. Weight 213 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Oh man, two of the most exciting superstars in the WWE, and the title is on the line. Dolph Ziggler making his way down to the ring. Man, he looks pumped up and ready for a fight. Uh, fortunately, this isn't an elimination match because uh, Brick K. Fabe. In this game, you cannot do Fatal Four Way Elimination. So the first man to be pinned, or first man to get the pin, will be the Cruiserweight Champion. Which means Chris Danger doesn't even need to be pinned to lose his title. And here we go. And he hits the neck breaker. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Wow. Kofi's got him. There's the quickness. Kofi and Chris Danger in control so far in this match. The match just started, though. Now, it's going to be hard to commentate because there's four people wrestling compared to just one at a time. Kind of guy, and maybe he is outside the ring, but don't let that fool you. Inside it, he's a killer with some of the most oh, big kick to the face of Kofi of Kingston. Now, standing moonsault by Rob this Van Dam. No. Oh, big knee, and oh my god, Chris Danger is dominating big Dolph Ziggler right now. Big right hand, and it's Dolph Ziggler with the oh. reversal. Ziggler finally getting some offense in. Danger to just let Ziggler go. Back suplex on the Dolph. 
And I think Rob Van Dam and Danger are going to fight, but Danger back suplex on the Rob Van Dam. <laughs> Making his way back to Ziggler, but Kofi wants some of Ziggler. Watch it, watch it. Big flashback there. Reverse suplex on the Rob Van Dam. So much going on. Big knee to the face. Big elbow to the chest. Knee to the face. <laughs> Knee to the gut. <laughs> oh my god. I, I really don't know who's going to win this, guys. I'm fine. Honestly, um, if I had to go in order, it'd probably be Rob Van Dam, then Kofi, then Danger, then Ziggler. People? Like, why do you say it like that? Whoa, what the fuck happened there? Pay attention. They know they're going to see one of the most talented superstars to ever lace up a pair of boots who will keep them on the edge of their seats from Ooh. bell to bell. Oh, Van Damme gets hit with a back suplex. Ziggler went for a drop kick but and missed. And then a whipper snapper. No <laughs> Ziggler and Kofi. And now Rob Van Dam. And then they all decided to get back in the ring. Is gonna return the fuck? To the ring. Oh, Ziggler with that patented jumping DDT. Chris, Chris, turn around. Chris, danger, turn around. Not paying attention. He almost could have lost his title there. You know, Michael, when we talk about the special bond between Kofi Kingston and the crowd, you can tell immediately how special it is. And Rob had them. Oh, my God. <laughs> The energy from the crowd gives Kofi the strength Kofi he needs to now. To dig down deep to oh, going him. for that signature monkey flip. Cross body. On the champion. One, two, three. Just like that, Dolph Ziggler was too busy with Rob Van Dam. Jumping DDT. No finisher even needed. Champion pinned rather clean by Kofi Kingston. And we have a new Cruiserweight Champion. And a Xavier... Xavier Woods, everyone. Uh, I guess, I, uh, next match. I know we've seen the entrance like three times, but it's a really good entrance. Obviously, why would Chris Danger and James Carr mimic, mimic it? But yes, I, I gotta say, as much as I want my guy to win, the way Batista dominated him last week, um, he didn't even need the Batista bomb. All he needed was one spine buster, and that was it. Sorry, and also, sorry if you hear my phone going off. I'm texting Mark. At the, he sent me some things to look at. I honestly think we're looking at the NXT champion right here after tonight. And I don't know who's going to... If if Batista... De, if Batista can beat James Carr... I honestly don't know on the roster. He could probably be champion for the whole year. <laughs> Not gonna lie.
Whew. Oh man, I, I, I hope my guy can pull up the upset, but it's Batista. I mean, we saw how dominant he was in the last match between these two. I honestly don't think my guy's going to last more than... If he lasts more than five minutes, There's I'll be surprised. Bell, and you can feel that electricity. This oh, is what okay. WWE nice some nice Russian ball. leg sweep. Start it's off the night. Or not start the night. Start off the main event for the NXT Championship. Come on. If you, if you prove me wrong, Carr, I'll be surprised. Uh, and here we go. Batista reversed STL. Wow. I did not see that coming, Cole. I really like Batista's tattoos, by the way. I know we're going off topic. We should probably pay attention to the match. But Batista's tattoos look freaking dope. Sorry. They just do. Also, I've almost been doing an hour of this. Backhand. Let's wait till we get to the pay-per-view. It's going to be probably even longer than this show. It's going to have uh, seven matches, I believe. So. Now Batista in control. Oh shit, car lifting him up. Oh my god, the strength. Oh! And Batista now. Hit the graze the back, and now a back suplex. Uh oh. And now Batista can give us a car a taste of his own medicine. Okay, it's been kind of back and forth, but Batista back in control. Looks like the momentum is reversed here. Batista's yeah, the momentum has reversed because Batista's in control. Uh oh. Oh, big elbow to the face. But a reverse STO. Now Batista's going to work on the face. A car that is not good. And wins the Royal Rumble. The animal picked up right where he left off. Oh, Look at what's going to happen here? That's Another so back suplex the there. I think this is going to go downhill pretty fast. Parr cannot put some offense in. And reverse into a Russian leg sweep. Okay, that's what he needs. He needs to, he needs to do something here. He cannot let Batista get into a back break, backstabber. Okay. You hear how his leg connected? Well, despite uh oh, what's he going for here? Four years, Big splash! Don't waste your time on Batista. You've got to lay in the offense. And spine buster, the same move that put uh, Carr away um, the last time they fought. Now a DDT to the foot. Whoa, what the fuck? How do you stand up that quick? Batista... Belly to belly. Oh, that was weird. I don't know if you guys saw that, but. Car, big boot to the face of Batista. Okay, this isn't as dominant as a performance as last time from, from, from Batista. And Car with the spine buster, the signature maneuver of James Carr. One of them, at least. Going for the cover. May have wasted too much time. Two. Three, no! One of the turning points in Batista's Almost Pete Batista with a taste of his own medicine. What's he doing here? Oh my god! Oh! Super kick! But in the ropes! In the ropes! What a waste of a move. <laughs> that may have knocked Batista. Oh, look at him. Batista is dazed. And a sit-out spine buster in the ropes again, but two, three, no! Oh my god. Car taking a long time to rest, giving Batista time. Oh, big right hook. Drop kick, no. That's a more slam. Oh my god, this is like, I'm kind of like worried what's going to happen here. Going for a splash, cover off that too. Three, no. Ken Batista is showing why he is the animal. Kicking out of a bunch of offense here. Okay. What you gonna do here, kid? Gotta do something. I'll just stand there. Alright, just stand there and look at Batista. You know. 
And Batista's spine buster. The same move that put him away. Oh. Oh. Car immediately hopped back up. He said the nod is not it. And here comes James Carr. He said goes for the cause line, ducks it. Power slam. Getting his comeback moment into the match. Two, three. Oh my god. No RKO. I'm sorry, the JKO. I forgot I was gonna call that that. A phenomenal blow needed. So now spine buster. That there was this power slam us and knocked Batista unconscious. And here is the NXT champion looking proud and what the fuck? Seth Rollins and Randy. You're you're not on the show. What? What? What the fuck? <laughs> what the? Okay, Randy Orton, Seth Rollins making a guest appearance on NXT, praising the NXT champion James Carr for beating the animal Batista. Uh, that's it for the show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Oh, what the fuck? See you on SmackDown, everybody.